Well, now take down your fishing pole and meet me at the fishing hole. We may not get a bite all day, but don't you rush away. What a great place to rest your bones and mighty fine for skipping stones. You feel fresh as a lemonade. A What's up, Yins, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing PA with Ryan Reed. Uh, in this episode, I want to do something a little different. Uh, I want to talk about a DIY project that I've been working on. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research online, uh, looking for ways to, to be more efficient and more organized, uh, specifically when I'm fishing from shore. Uh, in addition to that, one of the challenges I have as a fisherman uh, that without a boat, I fish a lot of lakes uh, in the local area. Um, that, that don't have a lot of benches or picnic tables around the lakes. Um, so I'm always carrying a ton of equipment. I got my rods, I got my tools, I got my, my tackle and my lures with me. I got multiple tackle bags and I'm always just carrying a ton of stuff and I never have anywhere to sit or to set that stuff down. So this particular project was interesting to me because I, I thought um, it was kind of a neat thing to do. Um, it's really inexpensive. And um, what we're going to talk about today is essentially a, a tackle bucket that doubles as a seat. Um, so this is going to give you a storage bin and it's also going to give you a decent uh, spot to sit for those days when you just want to go out, find a spot and do some fishing uh, at a local lake. Um, so before we get started, I just want to talk about some elements to this tackle bucket seat, if you will. Um, I have a five gallon bucket here. I went out and got a five gallon bucket at Walmart for like four bucks. Um, not bad. Uh, in addition to that, I went out and I got some, some Gorilla Tape, some real strong tape. And if you notice that, that's in a camo pattern. Um, this is gonna be more decorative. Um, but just so you know, this is a mossy oak pattern. Yes, yeah, see, mossy oak. Ain't no real tree in this house. So in addition to that, I have this magnetic strip I got this magnetic strip again at Walmart. It's got a sticky back to it. Um, and this will allow you to run some magnetic strip across the bucket or around the bucket to, uh, to do some stuff. And I'll show you here in a minute. I also got a bungee cord. Um, and attached to this bungee cord, I have some of these binder clips. You can find it off the supply store. Uh, in addition, I have Gorilla Glue, which is the best glue, uh, not only in the state of Pennsylvania, but possibly in the world. I love Gorilla Glue, so pick yourself some up and uh, it'll be useful for this project. Uh, in addition to that, I got this nice little tool belt. If you guys can see this, I got this little tool belt from Walmart for about 15 bucks. The tool belt has a strap and it has a connector on the back. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, what I did here was I took this, this little tool belt and I ran it around the bucket. I poured some Gorilla Glue on the other side and I tightened it up. Uh, I strapped it on, I tightened it up, I let it sit overnight. And now this tool bag is actually attached to the bucket. It's not going anywhere. Um, it's strapped on there, so it's super tight. And what's really nice about this is you can put all your tools right in the right in the tool belt. So if you have jaw spreaders, like me, uh, one nifty little thing to do with your tools, if you haven't seen this before, is take some styrofoam and attach some uh, attach it to the actual tool with some like electrical tape. That way, if you guys drop this in the water, it's going to float. So I did that with my jaw spreaders. I use this up in Canada. I use it when I go out on the boat and um, you know, it'll save your, your tools from disappearing. I also have my pliers in here. If you guys can see my pliers, I have hook sharpener. I have some knives. I have some additional cutters. I have my long pliers. I have, again, scissors. I got my gloves in here. Um, Bill Dan's hook remover for all the bass you're gonna catch this year. Dan, I know how much you love bass fishing. Uh, but, you know, any tools that you have, these little goofy tools that you can buy, they all fit in here. And it's pretty sweet because now you have a place to store all your tools. But along with this bucket, um, again, if you guys can see the top of this, I ran that magnetic strip and I attached it to the bucket here and again here. And what this does for you is I, I recommend if you're going to put something a little bit more heavy, like if you want to attach lures to this, Go out and buy the heavy duty magnets and you can glue them to the side of this bucket with the Gorilla Glue. But for what I'm gonna do is the magnetic strip's gonna work fine because I took a safety pin 
and I do this from time to time and I put my trailer hooks on the safety pin and what's nice about that is I can literally just attach that to the side of the bucket and it stays right up against the magnetic strip. Now another thing you can do with this bucket is you can take the bucket I don't have anything in this bucket right now um, but a lot of guys will take you know different things they'll, they'll create like separators in here and there's they'll store some additional equipment in um, a thought that I had recently was to take a circular section of styrofoam and punch it into the bottom and then actually take your lures out of the containers and just punch them into the styrofoam and run them around the circle that way they're stored at the bottom of the bucket they're protected and you know they're gonna stay where they're at in the bucket so think about doing some styrofoam or something like that um, and really utilize the space in here. If you want, you can just take your plastic boxes and just drop it right in there, drop whatever else you need in there, and then you have the handle where you can go. Um, but another really awesome feature to this bucket is gonna be the lid. So what I did was I took two pieces of the uh, strip here, and I have Velcro on each side here. So it's a Velcro strip. You take this bad boy, you match up the Velcro, you press down. Now, now you have the seat, if you guys can see that. It won't detach, and this goes right on top of the bucket. Now, not only do you have a complete carrying case for all your tackle, but now you have this nifty little comfy seat that you can set your old butt down, like me, if you have an old butt, and it'll you know, it gives you a decent place to sit and again, you can carry all your stuff. Another little nifty thing with this is I have, again, I have this strap and if you take the strap and you run this around, and let's see if I can get this connected without killing anybody. Um, you take your bungee, you put it around the top. Now you can do two things with this. You can attach things directly to the bungee or you can take and you can hang things from the binder clips. Or you can do what I'm going to try to do and pull this out and I'm just simply going to take my rods and tuck my rod right down into the bungee and that's going to serve as a, as a rod holder. And you can take the actual clips here and clip that around your rod to keep them in place as well. So the point to this project is, it's a DIY project guys. You guys can take this information, you can go out and buy your own bucket, you can customize this to however you like. Um, some guys will even take some PVC pipe, they'll drill holes into the side of the buckets and they'll create rod holders, um, they'll create additional containers, um, you know, for inside. There's a lot you can do with this. It's a really awesome project and, and let me just tell you this. For those of you guys that are going to laugh at me, um, I found this, this project actually on Pinterest. And it's funny because a lot of, a lot of guys will laugh at me when I say that. but. All Pinterest really is, if you look at the fishing section on Pinterest, dude, there's a ton of really awesome DIY projects geared to making you more organized when you're, when you're talking about fishing. There's a lot of good information out there on Pinterest as well from a fishing standpoint, especially if you're into kayaking because there's a lot of good tools and resources. So take a look at Pinterest, go out to the internet, do some searching around, find yourself a little bit of a project when you're bored. Um, less than 25 bucks, I'll say, with all the glue and everything in the customizable camo tape. You guys can even go out and buy some stickers. Um, some guys will draw logos and other stuff on there, but it's completely customizable to however you guys wanna do it, it's your bucket. But the point is, have fun with it. You're gonna take it fishing, you're gonna use it as a tool, but this is a pretty sweet little project to do with, uh, even get the little kids involved in it, and uh, they can put their stamp of approval on it with some stickers or drawing. And uh, it's a nice little family project just to get yourself organized and, and give yourself a nice little tool to carry everything around. So again, the tackle bucket seat, as Ryan Reed is affectionately calling it. Um, if you guys like this type of thing and you want to see more, uh, please reach out to me. If you like the, if you like the episode, you like the channel, uh, also subscribe. I'm looking for subscribers. Um, again, if you have any ideas or something specific you want to see, reach out, let me know. I'll get a video out on it. Uh, hopefully this was beneficial for you guys. Um, I have a couple other ideas I want to talk about uh, at some point here from a, a DIY standpoint. But uh, for now, I just want to thank everybody for their time. And uh, I hope you guys can get out on the water and do some fishing soon. It's almost time for first day of trap. 
here in the state of PA. So we're looking forward to that in a few couple weekends. Um, so I, I hope everybody has a good time out on the water. Uh, have fun. Be safe out there. And again, thank you guys very much for your time. Take care.